வணக்கம் நமஸ்கார் வெல்கம் டு ஜேசி டாக்ஸ் அ ப்ரோக்ராம் ஆஃப் ஜேசிஏ இந்தியா ஐ ஆம் ராஜேஷ் சுப்பிரமணியன் அ ப்ரௌட் ஜேசிஏ இந்தியா ஆத்தர் ஐ ஆம் ஃப்ரம் ராஜ் ட்ரைனிங் அண்ட் கன்சல்டன்சி அண்ட் வி ப்ரொவைட் சாஃப்ட் ஸ்கில் அண்ட் பிஹேவியரல் ட்ரைனிங் டு கார்பரேட் காலேஜ் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் ஜென்ரல் பப்ளிக் ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஜேசி டாக்ஸ் ஐ பி டாக்கிங் ஆன் டாபிக் ஸ்டேயிங் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் look at the image in my background the first thought that comes to your mind when you see the object in my background is a basket and a ball just take a moment and think the ball has no value when it is in the ground with a player or anywhere else but it has a value when it is inside the basket isn't it similarly be it a task an object or action in your lifestyle it should be organized so that it is having a meaning and a value to it imagine you are presented with an invitation something similar in my background you may wonder what it is all about because you take your own time to find the details in this image and the objective of this invitation because the information in this invitation is all distorted you will find it very hard to understand the importance or the objective of this invitation let me modify and present the updated invitation now it should make sense and give you a clear detail and objective of the invitation staying organized is like this which gives meaning and purpose to your lifestyle as part of this small talk we will be seeing three important section section 1 reason for being disorganized section 2 understand the crux of being busy versus productive lifestyle section number 3 seven tips to stay organized what are we waiting for let us dive into the topic there are many reasons why we feel or why we live an unorganized life let us see five important reason out of them look at this image this image must ring a bell to you isn't it because quite often we misplace these items and get panicked and hunt for them in urgency because things are never left in the same spot reason number 2 are you materialistic or a shopping freak let's say you have decided to clean your home over the weekend the moment you start cleaning you must start cursing yourself for having a habit of buying things which you have hardly used and your home is nothing but too much of junks reason number 3 do you feel that you are busy always and have many things to do if you fall into this category then please understand a goal or action which is postponed until a future day is often never accomplished are you one amongst who believes tomorrow never dies yes this is one of the most common reason for staying unorganized which is procrastination reason number 4 do you find your home or workplace in this situation we live in a world where we constantly feel rushed and overburdened with our home for example enter into your bedroom or open your closet if you feel overwhelmed with the objects then your life is overflowing with clutters reason number 5 do you think you are good at multitasking more often many of us become over ambitious and do multiple things at the same time which results in having anxiety disorder because we start too many project at once to summarize the five key reason why we feel disorganized reason number 1 things are never left on the same spot 2 too, too much of junks 3 procrastination for clutter five we start too many project at once 
in the order to understand the problem better we need to understand the key difference between busy and a productive lifestyle let us understand a busy lifestyle is having poorly specified goals whereas a productive lifestyle is having clearly specified goals a busy lifestyle is having multiple priority engage in multitasking whereas a productive lifestyle is having clear priorities you focus on one single task at a time a busy lifestyle is saying yes to most of the things because we want to please someone or we want to kind of get a good name to our superior so even if we can't do it we tend to accept the task and then we get stuck whereas a productive lifestyle is saying no to many things or otherwise you can say you give a thoughtful and say yes and accept the task only if you can complete it a productive lifestyle is talking about how busy you are always you always have so much of things to do and you always overwhelmed with a lot of activities to do whereas a productive lifestyle let the productive lifestyle they let their results speak for themselves a busy lifestyle is immediately responding to any given task whereas a productive lifestyle is scheduling the task understand the priority and set the importance of it and then they start working on it and complete one task and then move on to the next task a busy lifestyle is talking a lot about how they will change over the time from being busy to become productive but they remain busy always whereas a productive lifestyle is taking step towards achieving the change they want to in their life a busy life is talking about how little time you have for your family for your friends you are always stuck on your work whereas a productive life is taking time to do things that really matters to you a busy lifestyle is wanting others to value your effort whereas a productive lifestyle is wanting others to value the results rather than the efforts let us understand your lifestyle by asking yourself these questions and do a self assessment you will realize which bucket you will fall in busy or productive you have control over your lifestyle and make sure you make right choice of living because life is a marathon and in order to achieve your goals you need to first reach certain milestones let us now see the seven tips of our life to live a organized lifestyle tip number 1 always don't rely on your brain to store all the information don't dump too many actions too many data into your brain instead create cues around you so that that reminds of your task or an activity so that you can live a organized life tip number 2 be deliberate about things you own by asking a simple question whether it is must have or could have tip number 3 build a mindfulness loop so that you consciously bring the habit of being organized recurring and natural as your character tip number 4 two is one one is none this idea simply emphasizes the importance of having a backup plan rather than relying on a single strategy because when you start doing things when you start experimenting things you might fail you will need to have a backup plan so that you can overcome it and you can be back on track tip number 5 organize by experience and not by dogma what does it mean it means something might seem true because someone has told us but unless you experience it you don't blindly believe it tip number 6 label all the things so that you can categorize identify and familiarize the task that you need to complete tip number 7 misa and place misa and place is a french culinary phrase which means putting in place or gather say for example you are cooking your favorite dish what do you do you put all the ingredients in place or you gather all the ingredients together before you start cooking it that makes the outcome of the cooking very delicious isn't it similarly whenever you do a task whenever you do something gather all the required resources or 
required support so that the task that you do is successful friends please follow these seven tips to become a organized person and as we conclude let us quickly see the benefits of living a organized life benefit 1 time save your time and utilize the same for better activities benefit number 2 stress reduce stress and live a stress free life benefit number 3 efficiency improve your work efficiency by being a productive person benefit number 4 quality improve your quality of work by reducing the quantity of work so that the quality of your life also increases benefit number 5 discipline once you become organized you shall be a disciplined personality benefit number 6 relationship you start building good relationship with your family friends and office by being organized friends these are the different or many one of many benefits of being a or living a organized life before i end my discourse let me acknowledge that my speaking and training skills have been inculcated by jci india these skill have changed me inside out jci india has taken me to the pinnacle of success and happiness in my life so far i take this moment to thank the skill development committee of jci india for coming up with this beautiful initiative of jc talks and warman sir for giving me this opportunity to be part of this wonderful initiative thank you jci india thank you friends i hope this video will be helpful for you to live a organized life and get your life on track and achieve whatever you want in your life thank you so much